Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today, we embark on a journey into the heart of China's maritime prowess, where innovation meets the open seas. Prepare to set sail as we uncover the awe-inspiring world of China's cruise ship revolution. Cruise ships, the epitome of engineering marvels, stand as titans of the maritime industry. But what sets China's shipbuilding apart from the rest? Let's delve into the depths of this maritime mastery. Imagine constructing a floating city with over 25 million components intricately pieced together. China's domestically built cruise ships, towering over 140,000 tons, showcase the pinnacle of engineering ingenuity. Surpassing even the most advanced technological feats, they embody the nation's commitment to excellence. China's shipbuilding industry has undergone a remarkable transformation marked by unprecedented achievements. From aircraft carriers to LNG tankers, each project signifies a monumental breakthrough. And now, with the maiden voyage of the A. Adora Magic City, we witness history in the making. The A. Adora Magic City, a symbol of China's ascendancy in marine tourism, sets sail as a beacon of innovation. With 16 decks spanning 40,000 square meters, it promises an unforgettable voyage for every traveler. But how did China emerge from behind, surmounting challenges that eluded even industry giants like Japan and South Korea? The answer lies in a journey spanning over a century, from the Qing dynasty to the present day. China's cruise ship industry, born in the wake of the Titanic era, faced a daunting technological gap. Yet, fueled by determination and vision, it embarked on a quest to bridge centuries of innovation. While Europe boasted dominance in shipbuilding, Japan and South Korea rose to prominence, leaving China in their wake. But as the tides turned, China's resurgence reshaped the maritime landscape, propelling it to the forefront of global shipbuilding. China, Japan, and South Korea despite their advancements in technology and manufacturing, have faced challenges in building large cruise ships. These ships are more than just vessels. They're floating cities with thousands of cabins, each with unique facilities like restaurants, theaters, and swimming pools. Designing and constructing such complex structures is no easy feat. Unlike ordinary ships, which have simpler layouts, cruise ships require meticulous planning to accommodate the diverse needs of passengers. Each cabin has different amenities and layouts, adding to the complexity. It's like building a small coastal city on water. Recognizing the immense potential and profitability of the cruise industry, China has made significant strides in entering this market. They've invested in mastering the technology required for building large cruise ships, understanding that it's not just about ships, but about tapping into a lucrative market. China's efforts have paid off, with the country emerging as a major player in the global cruise market. By 2017, it had become the world's second largest cruise market after the United States. With projections indicating exponential growth, China is poised to dominate the industry by 2035. To achieve this goal, China has introduced supportive policies for its domestic tourism industry and forged partnerships with global cruise giants like Carnival Corporation and Fincantieri. These collaborations signify China's commitment to mastering cruise ship technology and seizing a significant share of the market. In a landmark moment for China's manufacturing prowess, the first major cruise ship crafted in the country commenced its construction at the Wuchang Shipyard in Shanghai. Teaming up with Italy's Fincantieri Group in a joint venture, with a split ownership of 60% and 40% respectively, China embarked on a journey to master the intricacies of cruise ship construction. Through this collaboration, China gained access to the coveted technology licenses and design blueprints for Vista class cruise ships. The partnership with Fincantieri also provided invaluable consulting services, drawing from the rich expertise of a shipyard with a century-long legacy. China's approach wasn't merely about adopting imported technology, but about comprehensively understanding the entire construction process. 
they meticulously compiled technical documents, engineering plans, and drawings, forming a robust framework for domestically producing cruise ships. Collaboration was key for China, as they engaged with both domestic and international suppliers, leveraging the expertise of over 500 teams. While domestic suppliers contributed significantly, around 30%, international teams were also integral, handling 60% of the projects. In ensuring construction safety, Chinese companies left no stone unturned, adhering strictly to international requirements and standards set by the Fincantieri Group. This commitment to safety was paramount throughout the entire construction process, set sail into the future of luxury cruising with the Adora Magic City Yacht, China's groundbreaking contribution to the world of super yachts. This marvel of engineering and design represents a significant milestone for China's shipbuilding industry, marking its entry into the elite ranks of global cruise ship producers. Partnering with 361 Tier 1 suppliers and 115 Tier 2 support businesses, the builders of Adora Magic City achieved remarkable technological breakthroughs. This collaboration not only propelled China's shipbuilding capacity to new heights, but also showcased its ability to manage complex giant systems. Adora Magic City is truly a titan of the seas, boasting impressive dimensions that rival many of the world's largest yachts. With a length of 323.6 meters, 16 floors, and a sprawling total area of 40,000 square meters, it's a floating city unto itself. Weighing a staggering 135,000 tons and accommodating 5,246 passengers and crew, its capacity surpasses many of its contemporaries. But Adora Magic City is more than just a vessel. It's a symbol of cultural fusion and innovation. Its interior design seamlessly blends Eastern and Western aesthetics, marrying traditional and modern styles. From exquisite murals depicting the ancient Silk Road to art decorations celebrating maritime heritage, every corner tells a story of exploration and discovery. Name it after Shanghai, the magic city, Adora Magic City embodies China's love for the world. As it sets sail from its home port, it aims to offer passengers, a unique and captivating excursion experience. It's a testament to China's ambition and ingenuity, marking a significant leap forward in its shipbuilding capabilities. While Japan has also aspired to enter the major cruise ship market, it has faced challenges, primarily due to design complexities and competition from European shipbuilders. Designing a large cruise ship is akin to creating a small city, requiring meticulous planning to seamlessly integrate thousands of cabins and systems. With over 5,000 kilometers of cable, equivalent to the distance between London and New York, precision is paramount to ensure passenger comfort and safety. Moreover, large cruise ships must cater to the diverse needs of travelers from around the globe, offering world-class amenities and services. Achieving this balance of luxury and functionality is no small feat, demanding innovative solutions and unwavering attention to detail. Navigating the intricate world of interior decoration for large cruise ships is no simple task. It's a delicate balance between aesthetics and safety. With the vessel traversing the high seas, ensuring passenger safety is paramount especially considering the challenges of external rescue in case of emergencies. This emphasis on safety translates into an extensive array of design drawings, numbering in the tens of thousands, to meticulously plan every detail of the ship's layout and decoration. Moreover, the stringent material requirements for large cruisy ships add another layer of complexity. While these requirements ensure the utmost quality and safety standards, they also pose challenges in terms of installation and transportation. It's a delicate dance of meeting regulatory standards while ensuring practicality and efficiency in construction. South Korea, following in the footsteps of Japan, has invested in its own major cruise ship industry. However, their approach differs, as they favor technology acquisition through acquisitions rather than independent research and development. While initially positioned for success after acquiring European shipbuilders, 
including two of the four major cruise ship builders, South Korea faced setbacks due to the global economic downturn. Despite these challenges, China is making remarkable striders in mastering the technology and industrial chains of large cruiser ships, with ambitious localization targets set by shipyards like Wuchang, China aims to achieve a 50% localization rate for domestically produced cruise ships by 2025 and over 80% by 2030. This rapid progress underscores China's ascent in the shipbuilding industry, positioning it among the top five countries capable of building large cruise ships. From being centuries behind in shipbuilding technology to emerging as a formidable player in the global maritime arena, China's journey is nothing short of remarkable. With each milestone achieved, China's shipbuilding prowess continues to inspire pride and admiration, heralding a new era of innovation and excellence on the seas.